All praises to Ahaya, Ashur, Ahaya, Bahashem, Yeshaya, walk, will walk. This is Shabbat Israel, and this is a video concerning me prophesying to a sister in a store. I apologize for all the noise, but when the spirit moves on me, I move. I would like to say before I prophesied to this sister, I was at another store and I prophesied to two more Hebrews, uh, male and female, and I was sitting in my car. And whenever the Most High moves on me to speak, I feel like this rush of wind and it, it sends fire down in my body like the prophet Jeremiah, fire in my bones. So I said, Most High, if you would like me to speak, let them say something that will give me confirmation. And he always does. When the sister got out by my car, she said to him, well, what did the Bible say? And so that's when I said, oh, time to get out. Let me speak and prophesy. And so I did. And the sister was standing there and she heard me prophesy. And I, as I began to uh, close, he came up out of another store. He was listening, but you can tell he didn't want to be there. As the Bible states, when you plant a seed, here comes the wicked one coming around to take what was sown. And that soul is lost. And so it states that brothers and sisters will pull the shoulder of another brother or sister and keep them from hearing the word. And I'm here to tell you, the Most High is going to drop a lot of men because they're supposed to be the priests of the Most High. The words of the Most High must be on the priest, as it states in the book of Malachi. And... As I stated before, I am one of the few laborers I've been called to labor and uh, I am going to finish until I hear, servant, well done. You have been faithful amongst a few things. And I tell you, this walk is tedious, but I am looking forward to my reward of everlasting life, which is priceless and is always Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that, that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part in the tree of life and to drink from the fountains of living water, let them be unjust still. And the bride say, Come, Yeshia, come, thy kingdom come. Amen. I'll call you if you just hand in front of my dumb face. Uh, I was 13 years old, and uh, they were arguing in the parking lot, and, you know, the most I moved on my spirit to talk. But what I heard out of her mouth was, what did the Bible say? This place is about to go up and smoke. Can you stay on the phone say? Mm -hmm. And it's knocking at the door, and our men, as Hebrews, the one here. He's about to drop a bunch of four eight six. Okay. I'm just gonna spirit his hands on you to speak to you and I'm gonna get up out of here. April 17th, 2008 at two o'clock at night, he spoke to me. He shook my whole house. He said enough is enough. For about 15 minutes into my sleep, I was trying to get from the crown of my head to the toe of my feet off me. And I was descending and I was descending down into a building. I walked past the brown table that had white flowers on it. I had to open up the front of the scroll like the Bible states. I couldn't see it. Uh, this time he was so bright. And I had walked toward a window in that building about 60 feet across. And I could see people walking every day. So it wasn't the days of Noah. I looked up, he was so bright I couldn't see him. And I saw something moving at the speed of I understand that one day to the most side, about a thousand years, a thousand years after one day, so I see the real time and the kids were there with me. And he began to speak. He said, enough is enough for Harvard to be the first to pass. Do you know what he's doing? He was the murderer. And he said, James, I'm going to be alive. That series. So I, I, I came in here before. I remember I never forget a face. I never forget a spirit. I know you told me you also want these churches around here. They don't tell you the truth. The will of the saints of the people is according to the Bible. The Christ is not born in this sense of the okay? Uh, Jeremiah 2 chapter tells you that the Bible is true. The Bible is true. The Bible is true. Acts 14 and 9. It's true. 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 It's
Serious business, what I do. Satan's is a special soul. I'm trying to bring people back to our book because if you want, you can read it about Satan. Isaiah, the 11th chapter, I was reading that about the Messiah. So, I'm going to send this. Do you see you, YouTube? Yes, you look up G O C C Hebrew Israel. Okay? Get yourself together because this place is about to go down. G O C C. It's a gathering of the street. We're here in Shabbat, we're here in the spirit of the evening. We look at Chicago, we're there. Okay? I'm going to do this. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 